Whoa, we're in City Farmer Johnny's uh, garden area here, but uh, I don't see... Whoa, here he is, City Farmer Johnny. How you doing? Hey, salute. Salute. A very successful grow season. Um, as you can see, the watermelon vines are starting to wind down. However, I do have three watermelons, which I'm giving a little bit more time. Okay. To because I've taken three out already, and uh, they were just a little... Uh, not ready yet. The cantaloupe, on the other hand, there's several of them scattered. Uh, this one's ready to go. Um, unfortunately, the broccoli this year went to flower, so I really didn't get a much out of the broccoli. As with the cauliflower, it was so hot that the plant devoted all its energies into leaf production. And I've got beautiful leaves, broccoli leaves. I mean, Look at that. That's that, almost a fan. You get fan with it. You know, I did notice when I was looking at those plants that I didn't see a lot of broccoli there that was easy to get to. No, this broccoli you'd have to really just, you know, cut around the uh, flower. Um, now, my tomatoes, on the other hand, um, for some reason they just love the 7 pH soil, uh, the trellis concept, and the fact that the, the sun is here for a good 10 hours a day during peak. Everybody says these are the sweetest. Well, you got a good solid uh, six or seven feet of uh, tomato wall there. Yep, and I have a Roma on the other side, which I can see maturing. Okay. I okay. also had a rodent problem. I have a woodchuck that's burrowed underneath the garage, and an old farmer told me the best way to do it is to find all the holes, get some old cloth, dip it into ammonia stuff it down the hole and then bury it and uh, you won't have a problem anymore with with that particular rodent so I'm doing that uh, I have Ghostbuster eggplant which really uh, likes this setup uh, another in about another month or so I'll take all this up as you can see I had uh, growth wherever I didn't put the uh, tarp down and uh, we'll see what happens with that. Now, I think last year, weren't you growing some corn last year? Yeah, uh, corn came in, didn't come in uh, this year. Asparagus came in, but uh, like I said, again, it went to flower. So, this is an asparagus plant. Okay. I'm going to clean it all up again. Early in there, earlier in the year there, I think, didn't you have some lettuce along that wall? Um, uh, the lettuce now was too, it was in the sun directly, so I had to put it on the back wall, and I don't know if you can zoom in on it or not, but it's very successful out of the sun in the back wall there. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, you just go down back there, you cut, you clip it like you're trimming your hair, and then you come and you grab some cubes and some tomatoes, and you have yourself a nice little uh, lunch. All right, well, City Farmer Johnny, it looks like this garden certainly uh, came in gangbusters this year. Yeah. Now, nice I, now I've got just one question for you here, City Farmer Johnny. I noticed that you're is that um, you're having orange juice uh, there. Is that something you? Grew oh no, no. This is uh, this is one of New York's finest. All right. Well, cheers. All right. Bye bye.